Xiaomi may well be the absolute new champions of phone teasing as the company came all the way to London in order to show me this, and it is the Mi A2. It's a great phone that packs a whole bunch of cool tech and comes with a very, very affordable price tag. I thought this was lovely, what a great idea. But the problem for me is that while this phone is going on sale in 40 countries, I'm told, those countries won't include the UK or the US, so it's not going to be particularly easy to get hold of, certainly not for me here in London, which is very disappointing. And I'll tell you a few reasons why. First of all, what I like about this phone is the overall design. It's slim, it's easy to hold, even though it's got this big six inch screen. I do like the soft gold color on the back. And yes, you could very easily argue that it looks quite a lot like an iPhone. In fact, I've got the iPhone 10 here. You may see certain resemblance in this dual camera unit on the back. You'll also notice a fingerprint scanner on the back and the front, this screen goes all the way from edge to edge which I think is pretty cool. Now that screen itself, as I said before, is six inches, technically 5.99, but let's round that up for the sake of it. It's got a full HD plus resolution, so all the icons and the small text look perfectly crisp and sure, maybe it doesn't have the clarity of some of the 4K displays that we've seen around, but perfectly enough for Twitter and Instagram and any of the games you're likely to play. And in fact, speaking of gaming, inside this phone is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor, which in my time with the phone over the last few days has been more than powerful enough to play most of the games I've wanted to play. So I have no problem with the amount of power that this thing has got. Now it's running on Android 8.1 Oreo, which is the latest version of the software. And Xiaomi has said that there will be an update to Android P when that becomes available later in the year. Now I mentioned price at the start of this video and that is one of the big points about this phone. It's going to go on sale in Europe for somewhere around the 250 euro mark, which in the UK translates to about 250 pounds or in the US to about $290. So there's no question that this is very, very affordable and beats out a lot of other affordable phones, phones like the OnePlus 6, for example, which is more in a four to 500 mark. So this does come in a lot cheaper, but still you get a really nice phone experience. So we've seen as well that it has got this dual camera unit on the back. Now that allows this phone to do the zoomed in portrait mode shots that we've seen on various other phones, including the iPhone, of course. I've had a quick play with those and they seem pretty good. Outdoor shots are vibrant, they've got good contrast, the colors look nice and the HDR mode works quite well. And over in the front, of course, we've got the front facing camera, which takes pretty decent selfies as well. Then we've got a 3000 milliamp an hour battery inside. It charges with USB-C and because it's using Qualcomm's new Snapdragon chips, it does support fast charging as well. So overall, the Mi A2 does seem like a really good bit of kit for such a low price. So personally, I am very disappointed that this phone isn't on wider release. I'd love to see this more widely available across Europe and across the US as well. I mean, you could of course try to buy it through one of the various unofficial Amazon resellers, um, but personally, I'd recommend looking for phones that are officially on sale where you live. So maybe look towards brands like Huawei's Honor if you're trying to get a decent phone on a budget. But of course, if you have any other questions about the Xiaomi Mi A2, then make sure to write them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and to keep your eye on CNET.com for all the news about Xiaomi's Mi A2 and whether it ever will come to a store near you.